Hey everyone, welcome to the channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out what's inside this fiber laser source. I'm going to be cutting through the factory warranty seal, and we're gonna check out what's inside this forbidden nugget of fruit. Before I break the factory seal, let's take a look at the outside because I'm sure many of you wanna see what this looks like and just haven't had the opportunity to check one of these out up close. The chassis of this Rekha Supply is going to be all metal construction. The front is going to be an array of cooling fans. As I get into larger Watts machines, the case size is going to get much larger and there's going to be more cooling fans across the front. When we flip it around to the back side, we'll take a look at this gray power cable. These are available in several different voltages. However, their most common is going to be 24 volts. And in fact, we see that on this one, it's clearly labeled as 24 volts. There's a DB25 connector that goes to the controller board for the laser machine. Permanently attached to the laser source is this yellow fiber optic cable that is also permanently attached to the laser head as a part of the laser head assembly is the beam combiner. We've checked out the outside and now it's time to break these forbidden seals and get these covers off and see what kind of magic is lurking inside. All the screws have been removed and let's take this back cover off first. Time for the big reveal. Whoa, this is pretty cool looking. And surprisingly, there's only a couple circuit boards located inside. This first board is where the power supply cable goes up to. This other board is that DB25 communication port. Up at the top is going to be the first appearance of fiber optic cables that quickly duck to the other side of the laser source. While this doesn't look like very much, there's a lot of very technical and high speed things that are magically happening on this side of the laser source. Let's flip this over and check out the other side. What's underneath this cover? Is it more electronics or more fiber optic cables? Let's find out. If you guess fiber optic cables, you're correct. There's two distinct fiber optic cables. There's a large coil here and another tightly packed coil right here, all held down with thermal tape. And that's because all of this aluminum is all a part of one huge heat sink. After the fiber optic cable goes through this big maze work of all of this crazy stuff, it looks like one singular fiber goes out to the yellow fiber optic cable out to the laser head. Behind this front cover are going to be the three high velocity stack fans. And to get a better idea of how these are cooling everything off, when we take a look at this side, solid aluminum, the other side, solid aluminum. However, when we look at the back, we're going to see in the middle are all these cooling fins. And that is what all these fans are pushing the air pass to keep all the electronics inside nice and cool. This is definitely pretty cool. What do you think? Let me know down below by leaving a comment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel or ring that notification bell. 
Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an excellent way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.